Taylor here, your backstage beautician, and today we're doing another video in our Broadway recreation series. Today we're doing Jenna Hunterson from Waitress. This is the ponytail that she wears for majority of the show when she's being a waitress in the pie shop, but at the end she has a half up, half down, which I'm going to show you at the end of this video. So stick around. And without further ado, let's get started. So first thing I did was throw some big loose bouncy curls into my hair using my one inch Conair curling iron. These are entirely optional and I'm going to leave them pretty loose because we'll just see them in the ponytail in the back of our head. I did this by splitting my hair into two sections and curling the bottom section first. And once you've done that, I'm going to take a mohawk size section right here at the very top in front of my head and I'm going to curl the hair away from the part towards my face and do some barrel rolls. These are also little puffs. You're just pinning them into raised pin curls so that they cool in that way and have a lot of volume to them. I'm going to choose to leave my bangs or the front part of my fringe out for this section. This is entirely optional if you don't have any bangs or fringe or you want to pull all your hair back. I'm taking pretty small sections and curling them with my 3 quarter inch Conair curling iron. This will give us very small and tight curls. Waitress is a musical currently on Broadway about a waitress down on her luck. And it features music by Sarah Bareilles. Waitress has had quite a few stars step in to play their lead role including Sarah Bareilles, most recently Catherine McPhee, and soon to be Nicolette Robinson. So needless to say, it's a fun show with a lot of great music, so I thought it'd be fun to recreate two of the hairstyles today worn by the main character. You'll see I really don't hold the curling iron on these parts of my hair for very long. Not only are we using really small sections, but this is also your brand new hair, the hair that's growing directly out of your scalp, so we don't want to fry it in submission like we might need to for the ends of our hair. I was joking by the way, please don't ever fry your hair. All right, I've got a few little mohawk curls right in the front and now we're going to curl the rest of this top section of hair with those big bouncy curls we did earlier. So my curling pattern for this hairstyle is two big curls away from my face and then two towards my face. This is because from what I've seen in pictures, we want a little bit of the curls to clump together and go the same direction so that we get that really big, full, rich ponytail. But we also don't want them all to come together in one big curl and look like we should be wearing a poodle skirt from the 1950s. So by curling this way, we get a sense of naturalism. So the hair just looks like it's naturally curly, but it also looks beautiful and voluminous. Most of the Jenna wigs I saw had either these pieces curled just in front of the ears or they had tendrils falling out all around the face. So you can choose to curl just these pieces or curl the pieces all around that frame your face. And then at the end you can pull out whichever ones you like. While you're here, why don't you press the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you can always be sure to see new videos from me right away. Now that I've got my curls all done, I'm going to start styling my hair. So first pull out all your curls. Oh, I look pretty weird. All right, I'm gonna quickly run a brush through the big curls in the back. So first, I'm going to take some Living Proof TBD Multitasking Styler, and I'm going to put this through the little mohawk curls we did on the top. This is going to give them a bit of extra definition and make sure they stand out against the rest of our hair. Since there's not very much hair up there, I'm using a really tiny amount. And then we're going to pull our hair up. So Jenna wears her ponytail about the middle of her head, so gather all your hair there with one hand, and then we can arrange these curls with our other hand. So run your fingers through the ringlet to break it up, then take a piece of the curl, twist it in the direction it was curled, and then add it to the ponytail. Once you have those pieces pulled back how you like, put a hair tie around your ponytail. In all of the pictures I've seen, Jenna has a black hair tie around her ponytail. If you're having a hard time getting your front little curls to lay nicely in your ponytail, I had the problem of they would flatten out and completely disappear. One thing you can do is pull the rest of the hair into the ponytail and leave the curls out, and then you can pull them back and pin them into place as you like. I find that method a lot easier, but a little less secure. So it depends on how long you're going to be wearing this hairstyle. So once you've pulled the majority of your hair back, we can work with the face framing curls here. I'm going to choose to take my bangs, give them a small amount of curl, and then pull them along and pin them next to my face, like real bangs. I don't know what I meant by real bangs. They're not fake bangs, but they're like growing out bangs, if that makes sense. All right, once you've pulled out your face framing curls and tendrils and everything is pulled back and pinned into place, you're all done. Here is our waitress inspired Jenna Hunterson ponytail. do that she wears at the end of the show. So I'm going to take my ponytail out. 
I'm going to keep my hair around the ponytail to prevent us from losing all these curls we worked so hard on, but then I'm going to separate the bottom section, so split it into a half up, half down do. Then once you've separated down enough hair as you'd like, we're going to pin the top section into place. I'm going to do this by taking a small ponytail, twisting it just slightly, and then pushing it up and pinning the twist into place. And there you are, a pretty easy transition. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed today's video, maybe consider pressing the like button down below so that tells me you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments section. I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, break a leg! Today we're doing Jenna Hunter Hutcherson.